U.S. fighter planes are getting an upgrade. The U.S. is finally taking a page from Star Wars and is now looking to equip its fighter planes with high-energy lasers. Lockheed Martin has been awarded a 26.2 million contract to design, develop and build a high-energy laser weapon for the U.S. Air Force's SHIELD program. The company delivered a 60-kilowatt laser for U.S. Army ground vehicles early this year and will produce a smaller system to test on tactical aircraft by 2021. Airborne laser weapons can defend against threats from enemy missiles, boosting the self-defense capabilities of military jets. The Lockheed Martin laser is one of three subsystems that make up the SHIELD program. A beam control system is being developed by Northrop Grumman, while a pod to power and cool the laser is being designed by Boeing. Keep watching to see more futuristic weapons. The U.S. has a robot warship that can hunt enemy submarines. The Department of Defense is reportedly home to many a robotic contraption these days, but they've all got nothing on this bad boy. The Sea Hunter is an autonomous drone designed primarily to track enemy submarines that are equipped with quiet electric diesel engines. It is currently being tested by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Unveiled in April 2016, the 40-meter vessel can travel at 31 miles per hour. It has no armaments. Its design resembles a Polynesian outrigger canoe. This helps it navigate the ocean and handle challenging six-meter-high waves. Advanced software and hardware allow it to operate autonomously around other vessels and remain at sea for months at a time. The testing period is set to finish in 2018. If it's successful, it will be handed over to the U.S. Navy. Iran tests high-speed torpedo. Iran seems to be making advances in their weaponry, and it's got Pentagon officials worried. On Sunday, Iran test fired a high-speed torpedo into the Strait of Hormuz, a vital passageway for most of the world's oil. The Hooch torpedo is believed to have a sophisticated guidance system and a range of six miles. The underwater missile uses super cavitation to reach speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, four times faster than a conventional torpedo. Iran has been testing the powerful torpedo over the past decade, most recently in February of 2015. This latest exercise was most likely testing the weapon's speed, as it did not appear to be aimed at a target. The future of U.S. defense may well be under the sea. It won't be long before the Pentagon will be able to launch surprise attacks on America's enemies from deep beneath the sea. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is developing a defense technology using special pods that hibernate on the ocean floor until they are deployed. Called Upward Falling Payloads, or UFPs, the pods are 15 feet high and can contain drones or weapon systems. The pods would be pre-positioned throughout the world's oceans, lying dormant until they are activated in weeks, months, or years. Once released remotely, the UFP riser rapidly floats to the surface with the help of a buoyant collar. It then deploys on the surface, releasing whatever drone or weapon is contained inside. DARPA is currently building and sea testing the system's riser and communication components. The next phase will involve sea demonstrations. U.S. Army develops anti-suicide drone system. The U.S. military is developing a system that can counter small, explosive-laden autonomous drones, which the Pentagon believes will pose a danger to U.S. troops in future combat zones. The current method of sighting and following a drone in flight is by tracking the radio frequencies between the drone and its operator. Suicide drones may be pre-programmed with coordinates of the targets so that they can navigate without radio control. This makes them more difficult to track using existing methods. The Mobile Force Protection Program is an integrated prototype system that can detect pre-programmed drones up to 200 pounds. Shotguns, sniper rifles, water cannons, mini rockets and lasers are all being considered as ways of eliminating enemy drones. The system is designed to protect mobile assets, such as convoys carrying important cargo. These assets are more complicated to protect than stationary targets. The system has a three-step engagement sequence. After the scene and decide phases, the system would then take out the enemy drone. The same system could also be adapted for maritime operations, such as small naval river rhine crafts. Phase one of the project is set to begin in May and is expected to last about 12 months. 
The third and final phase of the project will focus on countering a large raid of autonomous drones. Britain to fund developments of futuristic military technologies. The Ministry of Defence in the United Kingdom has allocated £800 million to develop next-generation technologies for military purposes. The new technologies that the UK's Ministry of Defence is currently developing include a tiny unmanned aerial vehicle and a quantum gravimeter. The drone, inspired by the biology of a dragonfly, is less than five inches long. It will be equipped with a camera and microphone for surveillance purposes. The drone can fly up to 45 miles per hour. It can detect incoming objects and also buildings. It aims at gathering intel for troops at locations that are difficult and dangerous to access. The quantum gravimeter is a gravity imager that uses cold atom quantum technology. A single atom can be in two or more places at once and is very sensitive to changes in gravity. As a result, the gravimeter can explore multiple routes simultaneously so that it can be used to map out any large structures or tunnels underground within minutes. The BBC reports that British soldiers appear to be well prepared for future battlefields. They have already been using VR helmets in training. The country is also investigating the possibilities of developing laser weapons.